All right, we're about to start another case. Got to put on my Clearview mask. Love this thing because I have to wear glasses because I'm old. And I have delicate Asian skin and I don't want to use tape. And by using this, oh, it is so supple and comfortable. And now I don't have to worry about this mask moving when I talk. And let's face it, I talk a lot. And I don't have to worry where I'm, when I wear my glasses because I'm old and I can't see. And I can wear this pretty much all day if I didn't have to take it off. And it is so comfortable. You can even loosen this. Now I don't have to worry about this uh, cinch being perfectly tight because all the control is right here. And you can't even barely see it. Alrighty, today we have a young, healthy, active and athletic surfer who lives at Wind and Sea, one block over from where I used to live when I was a punk UCSD undergraduate student. Obviously, he's a big time surfer. He's also a lawyer, but a very nice guy despite that. My brother's a lawyer, so I can say that. He is miserable though. And if you look, he's got this disc protrusion. Looks seemingly benign, but he can barely walk. You look really closely, look at that white dot there. So that's not just the disc protrusion, it is a disc protrusion with an annular tear. And it looks really juicy. It just looks like one where I poke a hole there, it's gonna squirt out like a hot pimple. But there's so much inflammation there, it's not just mechanical forces causing his pain. There's a storm of inflammation in there, and he's just not getting better. He can barely walk. He has a seven week old baby and a three year old, poor guy. Um, but you can just imagine how busy his life is. Lawyer, newfound father, and a surfer who lives at Wind and Sea Beach. That's a trifecta. Usually a good thing, but sometimes if you're not healthy, it's a bad thing. So after much ado, we've decided to do a laser endoscopic discectomy. We'll utilize a transferaminal approach so we can avoid all these important back muscles because he's a surfer, and if he's any good, he's going to need those uh, through a little poke hole, and we'll be able to get all this out without doing any kind, of any kind of work that will in any way destabilize the spine. So we're all expecting a great result so he can get back out in the water as soon as possible and take care of his family. Alrighty, so injecting the blue dye, looking for it to leak out the back. I can see a shadow going out the back. It's not, it's a really broad based disc bulge with a huge annular tear component. I can see, if you look really carefully, you can see the halo around it. Oh, I like that. Now I'm going to tap this in. I'm either going to go into the disc or hopefully skirt along the posterior vertebral body line and get a flat trajectory. And I'm missing for neural monitoring here. Sure. That makes sense. That's real probably, Shaq. So. Be really careful. Just going into the disc a little bit. And now the rest of the surgery, just like my, all my other surgeries, I'm just going to dilate, open up the neural foramen, and drop the cannula. You can go to regular video in one. Do a regular video shot. So everyone asks me why I use the laser so much. If you don't use the laser, you have to use a mechanical instrument. If I use a mechanical instrument, I will just get so many little loose pieces all over my face. I won't be able to see. Where the laser magically vaporizes things and causes very little. All right, there. And the nerve root is right on the other side. Here's the perineural tissue that's surrounding it. It's mostly fat and blood vessels. Also look on this side for the superior or cephalad border of the pedicle. And there's a little arch there that we call Wagner's Arch. Ralph Wagner, one of my favorite endoscopic surgeons in the world. He taught me a lot. He's in Germany. He's an ex-speed skater, so his thigh is the size of my torso. His hands are literally twice as big as mine. That's where the kakapuku is going to be. Look 
Look at how close to your this is. Look how big this pump is. It's all the way up here. Here's the beginning of the canal, but it should be starting right here. I'm going to get rid of that whole hill. Look at that. It's like a little pebble in there. Poor thing. You have my favorite two. Oh, it's going to be so juicy. Thank you. But like my teenage kids, they're not going to come out without a fight. Open that up. Regular two -tier. I hope you're sitting down for this. I wish I was sitting. Because that is like a little explosion in there. Poor thing. It's going to be a boy. Might be twins. Oh, you're such a teenage punk. Look at that. Just come out! But if you don't get better, I will eat my hat. I hope you're Two kids aren't going to be as difficult as this discrimination is. Oh, that was juicy. But it's coming. There's no teenager that you need yet. I got to take the whole scope out for this bad boy. Ooh, it's like a little mouse. That's just one of the pieces. I was hoping a massive piece like that would just come out all at once and then we can go home. But no, I'm going to have to suffer by myself, alone in the dark, in waist deep snow, uphill, both ways, in the dark. That's suffering right there. That's Korean, Jewish, and Catholic suffering all at once. Because I'm Korean and my wife is half Jewish, half Catholic. Make sure you that right there. Save that. Oh yeah, almost at the midline next right there. Oh yeah, make sure you there. Oh yes, I'm going to definitely get to the whole thing. I'm going to have to do that. Alrighty, I'm all done. I got the big bump out of the way. I reached into the canal and made sure that I can get all the way across without any impediment. I reached in there and got all the loose discs. I made sure that the nervous totally free. Woo! This is here over the way. You can see how it came to this. Traversing move is underneath there. So, you better get better. Otherwise, I'm going to be very disappointed in us. So, best wishes for a speedy recovery. Hey, Rolling. Surgery's all done. It went exactly like I wanted to, except it did come out of one massive, humongous piece like a big piece of snot, you know, multiple little pieces, but I am still so satisfied. Look at that little thing. So, best wishes on a speedy recovery. We're all rooting for you. All right, these are the pieces of this material that were removed. See them? Lots of them.